What's up? Vegas trash. All right. We're going to talk today about, guess what? Trials rising. Now look, some new information on the game has surfaced. I'm going to give it to you right now. It's not that exciting, so don't get too excited. All right. So here's the deal. All right. Uh, you know, going off of the forum and certain videos I've just seen, I'm going to tell you what I know about the game right now. All right. Now, again, we know, you know, there, there are a ton of objects. This is not going to be a fluffer video. I'm going to I'm going to have new information in this video. I don't like regurgitating stuff. That's pointless. Okay. This is not a speculation video. This is what I know about the game right now. Okay. So cross platform leaderboards, I think, will exist now cross platform play will not exist at launch okay now i'm most certain on the cross platform leaderboards i'm pretty certain on that okay i think i read something but don't hold me to it okay anyway so now here's what we know about the game that's new all right objects are scalable i think i didn't mention that last time i don't know it doesn't matter I'm saying it now Objects are scalable. This is huge. Also, you can decal basically anything uh, in the game. The rider, all right, helmets, uh, clothing, objects, okay? This is known, all right? Here's another one, all right? It's looking like we know this now. Multiplayer is going to be in the game from launch, unlike Trials Fusion. So, I'm so happy about this because uh, I think it really turns some people off, you know, when you don't have a multiplayer in there and you advertise it. It came out 10 months after, you know. So, I'm sure a few people may have been lost there, but that's not going to be the case now. And Red Links is coming back in a big way. Let me tell you what. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the effects have a lot of uh, variation in them as well. Okay, so, you know, if you're a uh, track editor, all right, good news for you. You could uh, vary the effects. In other words, you know, lightning. You could uh, you could dial in the spread, right? The frequency of it, which is nothing wrong, uh, nothing new on the frequency. But uh, you could change the bolt size. Goes on and on. You know, the lighting spread, whatever it is. Okay, so tr uh, the graphic interface, okay, is is really nice. Okay, now yeah, no, there's not gonna be. I'm gonna have another footage uh another video with some footage of the game but i'll tell you what i'd rather watch me play trials fusion than look at screenshots of the uh other game at least right now all right so real quick the graphic interface is really nice all right uh there are a lot of statistics in there right quite a few uh it's just like everything I see. Uh, also for Track Central, uh, I believe there's the ability to download tracks. Much like the uh, Trials Evolution game. Which is pretty nice. Play them offline and there are other benefits. I forget what they are. Alright. Uh, it looks like they, they're really having a whole page. Well, they've already had that for the other tracks, I guess. A whole page for just the track, but... It's a lot of detail in there, and, and I feel like everything reads a lot better. You don't have the angled uh, uh, graphic uh, user interface like you had in the other game, in Fusion. We had the angles, and that kind of makes the box a little smaller in a way. I can't quite explain it. Yeah, it's, if you saw the screen, you, you know what I'm talking about. So I think everything is cleaner looking, okay? More robust. The features on this game, there's so many options on this game. All right, it's gonna launch. Here's another one, big one, big one. Put this on the forum. Over 100 tracks, I believe, at launch. I actually read 120. 100, perfectly fine. I think the biggest game was about 58 tracks, 60, I believe. So, you know, they're launching with almost double the amount of tracks, okay? Every object conceivable. Now, here's another one about the objects. Or this is today in the game, all right? Uh, the objects in the game are uh, a lot of ports, right, from other games. And initially, you know, you're looking at the like, ah, same objects, right? See feet, okay? 
in this article I had read, and I, I believe it too, if you know what, what goes into it. But um, they were reskinned. Okay, I believe, right? A lot were reskinned, different shading. You know, uh, they are not the same objects in the game necessarily. They're all updated. Okay, when you see this game in 4K or whatever they do with it, it's going to be close to it, I bet, for uh, the Xbox One X. All right, when you see it in with the greater detail, greater resolution, and greater color gambit with the HDR, man. All the little details in the bike just pop out. Like, it's going to look vivid. Okay? And, uh, I mean, this is the trials everybody has wanted for years. Right? And now the technology's there. And more so, they have the right people making this game. Now, I got a tire glitch right there. Let's talk about tire glitching. They have the right people making this game. Right? They picked the best people to make their game. You know, that... Uh, they pick the people they need. Not necessarily, I don't say the best. Not the, that's not a knock. But I know a lot of amazing creators who were not picked to work for that company. So sometimes it's just not a right fit. It's not what they need, whatever their specialty may be as a track creator. Right? So, let's talk a little bit about the track editor. Okay? Real quick. It looks like it's very similar it's from categories. Right? Great. Let's move on from that. All right. Apparently, let's talk about multiplayer. Multiplayer, right? They're going to break it up by what kind of medals you have, I believe. You a, do you have a lot of platinums? You'd be in the platinum category. Gold, silver, so on and so on. Okay? Which is great. That makes for competitive matches. The reason why people don't play multiplayer, man, is it's not matched properly. Even in COD, this happens a lot. And I'm sure it's not easy, because if those guys can't do it with all, all the uh, money they have behind that game, and they can't properly do matchmaking, uh, yeah. All right. And they use a uh, system similar to uh, ch uh, chess ratings, I believe. That's what Trials does. All right. There's some really smart people working for that company. Not kissing ass. <laughs> just calling it... Just calling reality. All right. So... Next game's coming out soon. What else do we know about the game? All right. Uh, let's see. What else is there in the game? All right. The physics are looking dialed as can be. They're looking really, really nice. I'm not seeing any weird things happen. And uh, sometimes if your bike over compresses, all right, your rider may shoot through the bike. I mean, I saw this one video where this guy's like literally getting uh, butt reamed by his bike. It was, it was kind of comical. And I, I don't know if, you know, when the rider falls off this time, if, if the, the guy's just going to start pelvic thrusting the air, right? Humping the air, whatever he's doing, weird stuff. But I tell you what, that was a great troll, Red Links. I mean, you guys are funny. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, you take things really serious and not all at the same time. It, it's a great balance you guys have there, I think. You know, where you know at the end of the day, you know... To have fun in life. That's what it's about, man. And uh, that's what Trials is. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what makes Trials such a, an, an amazing game. All right. You ready? It's about competing with yourself, basically. Right? You're not getting shot in the back by some kid. I don't know. Can't quite explain it. That's about it. On that. Uh, next topic. Let's move on. I'm getting bored by that. So, I mean, look... Look at the lighting in there, right? The little glow coming through the uh, through the wood right there, right? And he's probably using point lights. He has the... Uh... Let's talk about what makes a good track. You ready? Last one. Last topic. Here we go. Okay. Does it look cohesive? Are the objects in there cohesive? Is the lighting pleasing, pleasing to the eye? Right? It's uh, another one. Okay, ready? Uh, are there, is there something weird in the driveline? Are you getting hung up on some weird freaking object in there because somebody doesn't know how to make a line? Which is fine. You know, it's always a work in progress, whatever you're doing in life. But uh, is the driveline, right? Is the driveline 
consistent? Is the difficulty consistent in, in between the obstacles, right? Sometimes you're going to have a difficulty spike. It's not the end of the world. You know, maybe your last one or first object, you know, first or last. Um, but when you start throwing those in, it just it really hurts the flow of the track. I don't want to get to track and then have to make some like you know, you know, four gapper or something like that. And uh, you need to be smart about when you make these tracks. At least make them consistent. You know, you need to understand the more gaps you place. See, that's a two gap, right? Something, right? One gap and then a. So this is very consistent in what he's doing with the drive line here, right? What is this? Okay. So watch this. One, two, a three gap. Mm -hmm. But how far are the gaps? How steep are the angles? Right? It's all very consistent, you see? So it's something to be aware of, you know? And it's, and it's, it's a hard thing to gauge sometimes as a creator to gauge uh, the difficulty because uh, it may not be that difficult for you, right? But for somebody else, they're gonna, it's really going to bring out their weakness in the game. And now it makes the track not look good. It's just not a fun track to run, though. Except that one point that's a four gap, you know, with a really high incline or something weird. Uh, something weird. It's real tech, tech or something, right? So it's about the consistency, right? It's about the angles you're picking, right? You have an extreme track? Okay, and the angles. If so, make it a short incline or something. I don't know. You know? Like, and also, I think, make a track flow. Like, you should be able to leverage momentum to carry into the next section and so on and so on. You shouldn't be going along at, you know, 50 miles an hour and have to slow down to 10 to get to the next section, you see? It should always flow. And people are always bunny hopping, basically, and, uh, and going as fast as they can, right? Now, if you need to just go slow off something, like here is probably better, just... Uh, not slow, but no bunny hop, right? Then uh, that's fine, man. As long as the rider can see it, you're good. Okay. And look, this—it's such a balanced track, man. It's—it's—it's it's, it's addictive. There's nothing in the track screwing me up. I could see the drive line. There's another one. There are a lot of great creators out there, and they sometimes they make tracks too dark, and it's just you know they probably have a different brightness level on their TV or something, or they like it for the mood. Okay. It's always about seeing your drive line. If you can't see where the rider's landing, and you can't see where that wheel's hitting the track. Sorry. Fail. It's a driveline fail. Okay, I don't care how good the decor is. It doesn't matter. You can't interact with it properly. Yeah, a little rant there, whatever. I mean, I've been playing this game forever, man. I've seen it all. And I've, I've made all the mistakes. And, uh, and I could critique the hell out of my tracks, man. <laughs> you know, drivelines, they should be interesting. You know, a lot of little small angles make a huge difference in the difficulty in the game, right? So, you know, and uh, having a clear and defined line that you're riding on. I can see it right where I'm landing everywhere here, right? There's no, no obstructing the camera, right? No. Nothing uh, strange of landing on. No real small curves or something like that. That's what she said. So, boom. Look at that. Nice. I mean, these lines are great. I mean, this is an, uh, a tremendous track. I don't want to say the decor is like nothing special because it's very good it's really nice um here's another one all right you're making decor don't throw weird objects and they don't have any point in being in the track have it look like a scene here's another one create depth in what you're making you know don't have it so the guy's looking you know i mean sometimes that works you know where you can see like 10 feet deep in the track but when you could create depth in the track and it doesn't take time to do that it's just the know-how you see it's the know-how and the decor. That's, you know, you take somebody who's a really good creator, they could create a great track in 8 to 10 hours. Probably less, right? Like, this probably took a bit of time. But, you know, a lot of the back is copy and paste. I mean, look at the house alone. <laughs> I mean, man, how long did that take? So anyway, another one. How to make good tracks, all right? Here we go. Never have... Things are you going over in the drive line that are like these weird things. Always have it very consistent. Don't have just rocks there because it's shitty to ride over. It's really straightforward stuff. Trials is a competitive game. It's uh, with yourself, right? It's about bettering your a bit more to it than that, but yeah, it's about getting a better time. Now, when a track runs inconsistent because you wanted to put rocks in instead of you know custom collisions, eh, 
Really good trials players are not going to want to uh, ride that track. I'm telling you what. It's just not enjoyable to play something and then get penalized because you don't know how to make a drive line. You see what I'm saying? All well, been there. And sometimes you're just too lazy to add custom collisions. Let's talk about Track Central. This next game is going to be insane, man. I'll tell you what. I think a lot of people are going to come out of the woodwork. I'm not going to say who. But, son of a... Jesus Christ, this song's so bad it distracted me. So there are going to be a lot of good creators, I think, seeing the seeing how this game is, like, thriving. I guarantee you, you're going to see a lot of really good creators coming back. Plus, who, who's already there? You know? I mean, the people in the company alone make tracks in their off time, right? I mean... I mean, the amazing tr content in this game doesn't stop. And the progression doesn't stop either. It's it's the most difficult, most enjoyable game I've ever played. I mean, for a bit, I don't think I would have gamed if it weren't for Trials. And because of Trials, I game all the time. It's not exactly a to be proud of, but it's what it is. It's how good the game is. It really is a tremendous game that gives the power the customer, or uh, I don't know, the power to the creator, whatever you want to say, you know, and it makes people, makes it easy to create. It's a really in genius editor, man, really. Um, I wish tiles were a little bit easy to link together. I don't know what we'll see in the next game, but I know it's going to be sick. Decaling everything is a game changer, man. Uh, changing the size of things, huge. Right? And I'm hoping, like, the textures will scale when you size things and it doesn't become overly distorted or something like that. The game feels more alive. All the people in there, right? Oh my god, look at that. And see, this game never ends. I mean, I'm, I'm playing a track in this game. It's almost four years later. And I'm still... I still love the game. Because it, it's, it's all about the progression of it. And feels good to get a good run. I <laughs> can't quite explain it. Anyway, I think I'm going to do a footage video next. But if you like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe. I might do a weekly thing up until the release of the game. I don't know. As we get new information, probably be excited and want to talk to myself in my living room about it. But do it through my headset so I feel like I'm making a video. You see what I'm saying. So uh, that's it on that. You know, anything you want to leave below, go ahead in the comments section. Uh, you know, it's cool, you know. it's uh, I always like listening to people who have the same love for things as being alive. Which is what's fun about, I think, the YouTube thing, you know. And uh, I, I could just listen to somebody, you know, talk about, eh, COD not so much, but Fusion, yeah. You know, when somebody is into Fusion and they have a, they know a bit about the game and been playing it for a long time, I'll listen to them for a long time. I can't. Well, maybe not. Not a long time. But a bit of time. So anyway, uh, it's good that people who share your same common interest in life and never tell anybody tell you <laughs> that uh, you shouldn't spend time gaming. They just, you know, if they were more interesting than gaming, you wouldn't be, you'd spend more time with them. You know, so uh, you should have a topic. Women in gaming, you know, uh, the differences uh, in the two. I think that'd be really funny. Anyway, all right. That's it. Vegas trash, and I'm out.